I'm here in Salisbury, Indiana to check out a great little historic place called the Yoho General Store. So let's go inside and take a look around. Salisbury has had its own general store for over a century, and it has been in the hands of the Yoho family for a large amount of that time. Brothers Frank, Oscar, and William Yoho ran a store in the early 1900s until it was destroyed by a fire in 1933. The current building was then constructed, and Dwight and Pearl Yoho acquired it in 1950, giving it the name we know today. The couple operated the store for almost 50 years before passing, and left it to their sons Donnie and Levon. In July 2012, CFC Properties bought the Yoho General Store with plans of renovation and restoration. I am Jim Murphy, president of CFC Properties. Carl Cook's wife, Marcy, is from this area and went to Eastern High School. She was having a conversation with Bill Cook, and Bill Cook suggested to her and Carl that they buy this store and fix it up because it needs some TLC. The restoration of the Yoho General Store began the spring of 2012 and was completed December 2012. It was very involved. We discovered that the uh, foundation and footer was inferior because of the fire. So we literally held this building in place, took out all the footer and foundation under it and rebuilt it back in its place. In that process, again, we kept as much of the original integrity as we could, such as the flooring. If you look at the flooring, you will notice a lot of this is old, original flooring. Certainly, we kept the stove intact. These are the original uh, cabinets over here, that th those were kept intact. We also, if you've noticed, we placed some photographs around that reminds us of the, of the error of whenever the store was in its heyday. We wanted to keep the charm of the general store, but it needed to uh, be brought up to the 21st century as well. We have an ATM machine here that folks can come here if they don't have the cash on hand. We have the, uh, the gas station where it's, it's gas is sold 24-7. Uh, we also have a little sitting area and a parking lot outside where people can gather. People come in and eat at the deli. That's probably our number one attraction is the deli. My name is Renee Jones and I am the manager here at the Yoho store. You can get cheeseburgers, french fries, breaded tenderloins. We have daily specials on Fridays as our most popular, it's a taco salad. Anything that they ask for I try to fix. The most popular item here is the hand dipped ice cream. I lived in this area, went to school, Eastern High School and I would come here with my family, one of eight kids by the way, so all 10 of us in the family would come to the Yoho store, and the one thing that I remember as a kid was getting ice cream. I think the ice cream is unique because we're the only one around that sells the hand-dipped ice cream. We have a variety of different flavors, and then we also have the soft-serve ice cream, so it's kind of like the old-fashioned ice cream parlor. With such an established reputation, I just had to try one of these ice cream cones for myself. Hi! Hey, how are you? Good! <laughs> what can I get for you? Is there any way I could get a mint chocolate chip cone? You sure can. One dip or two? I'll just go with one. One I think. dip. All right. <laughs> just a moment. My favorite part about this store is the customers. Uh, the store is a center for the community. And we've had folks come from all over the state and throughout states outside of Indiana just to come to the store because they've heard about the German store. And they want to participate in, in that uh, history. So we're happy to feed them with a smile on our face. And people should come to Salisbury just to see how the town has grown, to visit with us. You can go to the Sculpture Trails, the Bay Docks, stop by Yoho store to have some ice cream or lunch. It's beautiful in the fall. They need to come out just for a nice drive. Just a short drive west from the Yoho store lies a true wonder of southern Indiana, the Tulip Trestle Viaduct. 
Here's Rob to tell us about it. So here it is, Tulip Trestle in Greene County, Indiana. It's an incredible piece of engineering and it is the largest rail trestle in the United States at an amazing 2,295 feet long. Back in town, Jim and Renee walked me over to another one of Cook's projects, Ellie Mae's Boutique. After its remodel in 2009, local stylists Natalie Watkins, Sherry Martin, and Teresa Bland Critchfield were able to develop Ellie Mae's into a very successful business. From the Yoho General Store, to Tulip Trestle, to local spots like Ellie Mae's Boutique, Salisbury, Indiana is full of historic small town charm and is definitely worth a visit. 